Okay, so I'm back again here. Got the uh, new motor pulley came in today. Got that mounted. Got the keyway in there. Got it secured. And uh, got a new belt here. It's an A25. So we're going to uh, put that on. I've already had it on once to make sure everything lined up. But um, turns out to be that this is probably needs to be out about here. So. Actually, let me just uh, see if I can do this one-handed. Oops. I need to loosen this up a little bit here. would work better with two hands but there we go so now I just basically move this out and I want this snug It's like a hundred degrees out here. Back that off a little bit. Okay. Then this goes in like this here. And, well that's weird, that's a different size. Now, I'll get a different wrench for that, but anyways, next thing you need to know is uh, wire the motor up, and then you should be able to slip the cabinet back on. Well, I just got it wired, I put a piece of conduit on here, and what I did was, because this is only a 230 volt motor, I actually ran four leads and I labeled them according to what the motor label uh, was and um, I'll deal with this up in the termination box as far as a toggle switch for reversing so I've got a ground and then the four leads will go to the motor uh, typically it'd be uh, T1 and T5 and T4 and T8 for one direction and then uh, T1 and T8 and T4 and T5 for another direction so anyways I just want to show you that I got it wired here um, got the belt on obviously so the next step is I believe I'm going to slip the cabinet back on top of it and uh, start putting it back together. And then last step, um, we'll actually be wiring the switch. Um, I did not get the switch on eBay, the uh, Cutler Hammer Art Deco uh, push button switch that would have went with this and I was outbid and I didn't realize I got a notification. So I picked up a uh, 20 amp uh, heavy duty uh, switch today so that'll work. Um, it should fit in the same slot. So anyways, I'll keep you posted. Thanks for watching. Well guys, uh, this is as far as I got it. Got it tipped right side up. Got the uh, front extension on. I don't have it wired yet because I didn't look when I got the switch, but this is only a single pull. And I should really have a double. Being it's 220, so I have two hot legs. So, anyways, and I'm just sweating wet. It's like 100% humidity right now, so I'm going to call it a night. But um, I did briefly look at it. A light switch will work here. Turns out to be this is the front plate that would screw into the uh, standard junction box, which I have. So, anyway, it's got the hand wheel mounted back on, the knob back in. So, it's coming along. But uh, I don't have the hardware for the fence here. I need some bolts for this. I think probably what I'll do for the time being, just so I can use it, is. Uh, just get a couple bolts and some washers and uh, tighten it down that way. And then I'll go to uh, probably ereplacementparts.com where there's another one thing called the Saw Center. They carry a lot of Delta parts as well. So get the bolts for that and um, remount the power feed over in this corner. Put a cord on it. Put the doors back on. It should be good to go. I debated repainting it, but. I just don't want to put a whole lot of time into it. This isn't going into some parade or anything like that. So, anyways, 
There we have it. Thanks for watching.